morning all it's post bag and here's the first one and we have a clue it's 85 by 58 by 33 and it rattles and it is a small project box so this is a, a electronics project enclosure with a transparent front which has a little recess in it and you get this uh, rubber seal so we can press that into there feed it all the way around and then this thing will seal down onto the enclosure and it's completely waterproof comes with screws now I bought this without any sort of project in mind really but I quite like the fact that it's uh, got this waterproof seal so I kind of had outdoor projects in mind uh, the same is true of this project box which I bought a while back and the same is true of this enormous project box that I also bought a little while back and the thing about these project boxes is that they're cost effective to buy individually all the way from China because of the rather unique postage system that they have I mean it would be actually not cost effective to buy these from a UK seller particularly this big one because the postage costs would just be astronomical. So here's the item on eBay and it is plastic waterproof cover clear electronic project box enclosure and it was £1.27 free postage from Lakey X 101 and I've just done a search uh, for items for sale from Lakey X 101 and I searched for enclosure and they have quite a range of different enclosures with uh, clear covers, with the tabbed feet, with uh, solid covers. Um, also one there with a clip-on cover. So definitely worth having a look at um, their other items under enclosure. Okay, this one's from the UK. Uh, no clues on this one other than there's this sort of circular ring. Okay, this is solar tabbing wire. Now actually, strictly speaking, this isn't tabbing wire because the tabbing wire is two millimeters wide. And this, as you can see, is five millimeters wide. So this is the bus wire that you put at the end of each tab row for bussing together the rows of solar cells. Now this stuff is heavily solder coated but I've scraped a bit of the solder away and I don't know whether you can see but there's the characteristic sort of pink copper colour underneath so it's copper wire but heavily coated in uh, solder. Now the reason I bought this uh, bus wire is not to make solar panels but to repair power tool batteries so I bought a couple of these uh, Ryobi lithium batteries these are the big ones with uh, not five but ten 18650 cells inside and uh, I've already taken one of them apart and identified that uh, out of the ten cells these two up at the uh, I think it's the negative end of the array were faulty now they are paralleled so uh, both had died simultaneously as it were and getting this top one out is particularly difficult because there's this plastic separator between the two rows of cells so I've had to cut the uh, strips here and my plan is to put cells from the other pack back in here put solder on these strips and then use the tabbing wire to bridge across those soldered joints now I don't know whether this is uh, going to be a worthwhile project I'm not sure if this is going to be cost effective or not uh, certainly only one pair of these cells uh, is measuring no volts these are all measuring four volts so it'd be a simple thing to take a pair of cells out of this battery well maybe not so simple because of the fact that um, this battery won't fall out it has to actually slide out so all these strips have to be cut up but the two batteries together I think cost 22 pounds so they're 11 pounds each and I just thought it would be uh, worth having a go. The problem is likely to be that these cells, even though they're measuring 4 volts, 
they've probably seen, let's have a look at the date, uh, 2008 would be my guess. They must have seen a lot of uh, charge and discharge cycles, so they may not have a lot of life left in them. But it's an experiment, it's a project, it's a bit of fun. Okay, now on these two we have some clues. This one says lamp, and this one says ARA27 plus 10 watt LED. So that's a bit of a giveaway. And I'm going to open these two together. So in here we have lamp, which is some LEDs. And in this one, I didn't cut it deep enough. We have an LED driver with an LED. Now you've got to be a little bit careful with 10 watt LEDs because there are two types. There's the type which has a 3x3 three three matrix, so it's a three column, three row. And uh, this one you can see fairly clearly from the spot welds of the little tiny wires that go to the LEDs that we've got three column, three row on this one. You can see at the top six little spot welds and six little spot welds and wires at the bottom. So that's a three by three. That will run off about nine point something volts. And uh, this one, which is one of the set of five that I bought, it's not quite so clear, but you can see the three columns, certainly. So it's, again, a three by three matrix. But compare that with uh, this one. Now on this one, you can see uh, top left, a pair of wires running into the first LED. You can then see the vertical wires running down that column. Then there's a wire running across, back up the second column, across the top to the third column, and down the third column. And then you can see the double wire on the bottom right hand of the nine LEDs. So these nine LEDs are not, I mean, physically they're laid out in a three by three matrix, but they're wired up in a continuous line of nine LEDs. So this one, it's the same wattage overall, 10 watts, but it's gonna require about 27 volts or probably more like 30 volts to get this thing to light up. And I can show this with uh, a nine volt battery. The one on the left is the three by three wired so that will light up on nine volts if i touch the nine volts on there that lines up this one is the continuous string of um nine leds requiring about 20 or 30, 27 to 30 volts to light up and you can see that uh, that does nothing so i have most of the kit i need now to do my 10 watt led tutorial which is basically going to talk about uh, using drivers to set the appropriate current uh, for the LED and using a little cheap VGA fan to act as the heatsink because these LEDs, a surprise to some people, is that they get very hot and the whole thing's going to run on 12 volts using one of these cigar lighter plugs. So I won this auction, uh, five high power 10 watt cool white DC 9 to 11 volt they're saying, LED beads lamp. £2.92 free postage from Daheng Team. And uh, the other one was this one. This is a high power LED chip driver, 9 to 12 volts, 900 milliamps. Specifically, that driver is set to. And this was uh, $2.79. That's £1.72 free postage from China Sales Store. And so that's today's post bag.